Binge, a new sci-fi series getting ready to hit the streaming service, taking you on this out-of-this-world mission to save planet Earth. It's time. Here we go. Here we go. Another life follows the suspenseful quest of an astronaut and her young crew who, while on the search for alien intelligence, soon find themselves in a battle to return home. Starring the upcoming Netflix series is Battlestar Galacta alumni and sci-fi favorite and my personal favorite, Katie Sackhoff, <laughs> who joins us live from Los Angeles ahead of the career. Hi, Katie. How are you? I'm so good. How are you? I'm hot, good. obviously. It's hot there. I know. Yes. It's yes. really hot. You've heard. Yes. So <laughs> it's been, it's hard to believe it's been 10 years since Battlestar ended, and then Starbuck went. By the way, where did Starbuck go? Where did, where did Starbuck go? <laughs> you know, that is an interesting question. Everyone <laughs> asks me that, and I think she's just like leaning down in the grass, hiding actually. So I don't okay. think she went anywhere. She's, she's waiting to pop up and scare Lee or something. That's fine. <laughs> I, I, you know, as long as I have an answer, I'm cool with that. I'm totally cool with it. Okay, let's talk about the new project. So you're back in space. Uh, hey. what, is, what is Another Life all about? Uh, explain to us. Uh, Another Life follows Nico Breckenridge. Uh, she is the commander of the Salvare, and they uh, are out uh, following a beacon out in space trying to discover the origin of an artifact that landed on Earth. So they are following a signal and hoping to determine if they are friend or foe. Hmm. You guys? Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking at my co hosts here. <laughs> I, uh, Katie, I'm totally into this. Okay, so the, the cast of this is amazing. You got Selma Blair. How is Selma? I mean, she, working yes. with Selma must have been the coolest. Selma's amazing. My first job that I booked when I moved to Los Angeles was working with Selma. So it's oh. pretty amazing oh, to get to cool. work with her again. Yeah. That's really I cool. I know. And then you, you produced yeah. this as well, right? Are, are you part of the producing staff? I am actually, yeah. It was such a great opportunity for me to sort of like take my career to a, a different level with some new challenges and, and learn about producing and, and great team with Netflix and Hellfire and they've just been so helpful and sort of like pulled me along and taught me the ropes. That's cool. Uh, now, what about directing? Would you like to direct? Because I can totally see you bossing people around. I think that would be <laughs> awesome. <laughs> You know, I have zero desire to direct. Really? I know that may sound crazy to some people, but I just, you know, I, I am very good, like, in front of the camera. I just, I, I have no desire to try and tell actors what to do. You know, we can be kind of difficult sometimes, so. <laughs> really? <laughs> That's what we hear. <laughs> um, Managing uh, myself is enough. I don't need a bunch of them. Can we compare the two, the two roles. They both seem very big roles here, the Nico and the Starbuck. Any similarities between these two? Yeah, absolutely. Of course, there's similarities, but but Starbuck was really ruled by her emotions, and and that sort of like made her so great that she was a loose cannon. And <laughs> Nico is ruled by her emotions in a very different way. She's very calculated. She's very studied. She's she's a very good soldier, and she's pretty calm and collected. So there are some very Starbuck esque characters mm -hmm. on this show. Uh, Elizabeth Ludlow plays a character named Cass, and that character is is very much like Starbuck, and I sort of feel like I passed the torch a little bit. Katie, you know, I, I own some stock in Netflix. Does it mean that we're, like, you know, co-workers? <laughs> it does mean that we're co-workers, yeah. <laughs> okay, good. So, uh, good. so I hope that you just turn your TV on tonight at midnight and just let it run. Just binge that. <laughs> <laughs> of course, of course. Okay, so we got, a, go. we got a central mystery in here about the aliens and stuff. Are, are you, is this going to be stretched out for a while, or are you guys just going to go 100,000 miles per hour? Well, I, I mean, I hope we're stretched out for a good three to five years, but um, <laughs> no, we go really, really fast on this show. Um, you know, that's one of the things that's so great about it is the pace of this is like a race car. It is so fast and you're just holding on the entire time. It's just things are constantly getting thrown at you. And this is such a fun show to watch um, because nothing's off the table. Awesome. Oh, I, cool. I have terrible insomnia, so at midnight, He'll I'm watching, watching it, Katie. Yeah. I am doing this. So at midnight, I'm doing perfect. This. Doing this. Thanks for joining D us. DM me and let me know what you think. I will. I will. Thanks for joining us this Bye, morning. Bye, Katie. I'm telling you, uh, your, your portrayal of Starbucks should be on the Mount Rushmore of sci-fi <laughs> stuff. It is one of my favorite things of all time. Thank you.